Okay, scaling data. Um, so for this project, making a sound responsive player, we're gonna have to scale some values up. Um, well, not scale them up necessarily, but scale them to a specific range. We're gonna scale right. our microphone volume to a set of frame, a, a range of frames of video right. that we wanna do. So our microphone volume usually goes from zero to one. And so it's a floating point number that goes, it's a decimal point number that goes somewhere between zero and one. Whereas a video frame. Right, you could have thousands of frames of video. So we wanna scale um, you know, this low range number, zero to one, up to this high range. So we're gonna use this object called scale. There'll be a different tutorial that shows a bunch of different ways to scale uh, numerical values, but um, uh, the easiest way to do it is just to use the scale object, which is built into Max. So scale takes four parameters, or arguments, takes four arguments. So you can, hear, you can see here I have scale uh, zero, one, zero, one. Um, so, which does nothing, but um, it just scales <laughs> it to itself. But so scale takes an input low and, and an input high and maps that to an output low and an output high. Okay. So if you wanted to, um, let's say scale this is zero to one value, you can see like this, uh, this slider right here is set to produce zero to one, this orange slider. So zero to one. If you wanted to scale this to be um, to scale, instead of scaling from zero to one, you'll scale from, let's say one to a thousand. So you could set the parameters in here. So you could say scale uh, zero to one. I want to scale that to one to 1000. And then oh. now the output value here is, so it might, the input is zero to one and the output is going to be zero, one, one to 1000. So scale just does the appropriate math. It's very simple. You could do it with your, you could build your own version of scale if you wanted to, but they've made a nice little object that just does it automatically. I've set the start and end. So the, the uh, what the fourth and fifth inlets here on the scale object itself let you dynamically change the output low and output high. I called it start and end. Um, maybe not quite correct there, but um, so you can dynamically change to whatever you want. It will not change the arguments you put in here, it'll override them, but it won't visu visibly change these right. numbers. So if I set this to be like four, you know, four to eight, then it's gonna, whoops, oh, yeah, yeah. okay, so now it's gonna scale it from four to eight. Okay, so scale is, is easy to use. Um, we're gonna use it to scale frames. So here you can see I'm scaling this decimal point number to, uh, and the result is going to be, look, if you notice, there's no decimal points on these output ranges. So it's going to turn it into an integer as well as scaling it. So if I scale from zero to one here, oh, it doesn't change it to an integer, I'm sorry. Um, you'll have to chop off the the um, decimal points on, on your own. So um, the other thing to show is clip. Sorry, go ahead. But I was just going to say that um, if right now it's, uh, if this was instead of a, a floating number box, if it was an integer box, it would then only show the right. whole number. Yeah. Integer does not mm -hmm. round. It, right. it always cut, just cuts it off. It just cuts the, off. The uh, decimals. Okay, the other thing to show here is clip. So clip, make sure that your numbers uh, are within a certain range. And that's really useful for what we're about to do. Um, so clip 0 to 132, will uh, any number you put in there, like it won't let me go past 132. So you see it's stuck down here at 132 because even though my numbers up here are like in the 300s, clip is not gonna let them through. So clip only lets through numbers that are within its range of arguments, so zero to 132. Um, likewise, if I try to go to negative, oop, it's stuck at zero. Denied. Really nice, really nice, simple object for making sure your numbers stay within some sort of boundaries that you need them to stay in. So yeah. that's, that's good, okay? Mm -hmm.